Hello YouTube. Hello guys. I am Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Here you can see my latest uh, magnetic loop antenna. Is the uh, big brother of the uh, uh, previous ultralight magnetic loop. What uh, you had seen on my previous videos. So this is the uh, homemade magnetic loop, uh, and this version uh, working uh, from 10 megahertz to 30 megahertz so uh, if you compare with the previous version this uh, version has no 7 megahertz band the diameter is bigger the previous version was 35 uh, centi 45 centimeters in diameter the mine loop this loop is 70 centimeters in diameter. The small one, this secondary loop, is 188 millimeter wide. So again, the mine loop 70 centimeters and the small loop 188 millimeters construction is the same so the plastic boom here in the middle is with the same material the PVC tube the length of the boom is 1150 millimeters along here in the middle here is the tuning capacitor with this little PVC electrical box and little knob on the bottom And here you see the PL connectors. Okay, so let me open the box. You will see the connection inside. So here inside the box you can see small variable air capacitor it's able to uh, running or handling 30 watts maximum and for QRP is very very good so here you see a two sections of this capacitor the first section is 380 picofarads and the second is 320 picofarads capacity. This antenna is actually uh, mounted like the split stutter type. So we have a one section, second section separately connected directly to the mine loop so between uh, uh, two sections there is no any poor mechanical connection it's very important because of the high voltage during transmission may causing some sparkling and may causing a, a big resisti resistivity on antenna and it makes a troubles uh, with um, good functional of the magnetic loops so the split stutter here inside and the mine loop here is directly connected so I repeat again the uh, capacity total capacity is 380 plus 320 so completely a 700 picofarad may handle uh, tuning range of the antenna from 
um, exactly 7. Point, I believe 5 to 37.5 that that is the real uh, range of this magnetic loop antenna so right now I will show you the uh, material uh, used uh, on building of this magnetic loop So we should not forget uh, on quality materials used by the magnetic loops and that was the reason why I'm using this Nordix Mike Whiskey Charlie 1050 coaxial cable. It's a very heavy cable, uh, the outer diameter is 10 millimeters and inside it, it is uh, double shielded. Here you can see the aluminium foil and the wires and inside you can see the uh, copper a solid core and the uh, 2.5 millimeter thick um, solid core it makes a really good uh, quality really good it's a really heavy cable and it hold uh, shape of the magnetic loop it holds the ring uh, ring like a shape of the magnetic loop so for the second uh, loop I'm using this 2.5 millimeter thick uh, copper wire it's also solid inside you can see it's also very heavy and a good holding the shape of the small uh, loop. So the construction of the mine loop is uh, shown here. This is the mine loop and this is the uh, shielding of the mine loop. The shielding is not connected to the ground or any other point. So it's not connected anywhere. The shielding here is coming to the uh, to the uh, half of the turn and in the half of the turn you need to uh, interrupt the shielding in the middle uh, of the loop and also from the other side. So here is interrupted the shielding of the loop. So connected is only the internal the internal uh, core, which is uh, directly connected to the variable capacitor. So here is the connection. The mine loop is coming through and it makes one turn of the mine loop antenna. And the second loop is made from the 2.5 millimeter thick uh, copper wire and it must be on the other side or on the opposite side as the uh, capacitor is located so if the capacitor is down so the uh, small loop will be on the opposite side so here on upper side the mine loop i used is the uh, faraday uh, turn or it's the uh, one piece of wire and the coaxial feed line is coming up to the small, small loop and the shielding of the coaxial cable is connected directly to the one point so shielding to the one point and the core of the feed line is connected to the 
other point. That's the connection of the small loop. And the diameter should be about one fifth of the mine loop diameter. So this is the one fifth of the mine loop diameter. You need or you will need to adjust uh, this diameter because of the SWR on each band. So firstly, if you if you made some some uh, small loop, uh, make it with the larger wire, and uh, next you will cut millimeter by millimeter or few millimeters from this wire, and uh, you will need to measure the SWR on each band. The SWR on each band uh, should be 1.1. That's the, the best situation. And the very important thing is uh, to place the small loop as close as possible to the uh, mine loop. So the space between mine loop and small loop should be uh, minimal, but the connection, it, it uh, can't be between the mine loop and the small loop. It can't be any uh, electrical connection. So just the as close um, to the mine loop. That's the uh, correct position. Uh, also a very important thing is to make some gap. Maybe, I don't know, maybe three centimeters gap is uh, is uh, in the same line with the mine loop here. So I don't know if you understand me, but the small loop, uh, the gap about three centimeters should touch to the uh, mine loop. So the three centimeters is okay. Maybe more, maybe four, if you want or if you will. So this is very important. The, the bandwidth of the antenna will be a little bit wider. Okay, so that's the construction of my uh, magnetic loop. And next, uh, you can make uh, this uh, labels for your antenna and it's very easy to to make the labels in the open office a draw this is the great software very easy uh, to work with him and this is uh, printed with my laser printer on uh, the uh, transparent uh, label paper or label it paper So it's time to check the SWR on antenna on all bands from 10 MHz up to uh, 28 MHz bands. Okay guys, so the antenna is uh, really good working, the SWR is pretty good on all bands, the CB band as well. <laughs> and if you like this uh, antenna, or if you have, uh, if you have any questions, uh, make comment down below the video. And please 
hit the subscribe button if you like uh, my videos maybe for the next uh, next ones so 73 thank you for watching guys and i hope to see you again bye bye